Ah, visitors, I see. I thought it was rather noisy. And you are? I'm just investigating the lab here. The name's Pablo. Hi, I'm Kirill. Nice to meet you. So what can I do for you folks? We were told we might find some information about rune cannons here. Rune cannons? Ah, yes. Unfortunately, there's nothing left here now. But it is true that rune cannons were once made here. Created by a single mighty sorcerer. A single sorcerer? That's right. One day the sorcerer opened a gate to another world and summoned a gigantic tree-like being. The seeds of that giant tree were the ammunition for rune cannons. They say those seeds were naturally teeming with powerful magic. That must have inspired the idea for rune cannons. You sure know a lot about this, Pablo. Well, I was his only apprentice, but he kept to himself a lot. Well, what happened to the tree? The tree was destroyed. It had been sold to the Kuluk Empire, and then destroyed along with Fort Elil in the Island Liberation War. Which means that no more ammunition can be produced. I don't suppose we'll ever see another sorcerer who could summon such a tree from that world again. So, this sorcerer you speak of is gone too? Unfortunately, yes. Hmm. As you can see, there's nothing left here. Once it became known that the rune cannons were disappearing, hordes of soldiers came and ransacked this place. Well, I suppose the most important documents had vanished by then anyway. So, I'm sorry. I can't help you. No, I'm glad we heard your story. Sorry for all the trouble. Not at all. Well, we should be heading back. Hey, wait a second. Could this be a branch from that tree?